hey, welcome back. Um, it's been a night. <laughs> I got five hours of sleep. <laughs> I don't sleep very well. Um, but we're gonna kill a cleric beast today, hopefully. Because I upgraded my weapon and that'll hopefully give me the edge I need. But if not, then so be it. This is the right headstone, yes? Yes. Coolio. So, uh, a thought occurred to me, um, yesterday, I was talking about, uh, how I do fencing. Um, or rather, I don't know if it'd be yesterday for you guys. It might be a couple episodes back, I don't know. Um, but because I'm, I'm clearly still recording this ahead of time before I've uploaded it, so I'm gonna predict that at least one of you guys asked, uh, what style I fence. Um, or at the very least, what my preference is. Uh, and the answer to that is foil. Um, to those of you who don't know about fencing, there's like three primary styles. There's saber, foil, and epee. And epee is all the body, even the feet and the toes, everything's a target. Um, there is no extra mechanics. Am I going the right way? I don't think I went the right way. Um, or no, that's right, this was the shortcut, I think. Right? No, oh, ah. Maybe a good night's sleep wasn't what I needed, because I seem to have forgotten everything. Before I dash on over here. Ah, whatever. Anyways, um, fencing. So, uh, Epe is basically like everything goes, and it's a lot more cautious because you want to try and touch your opponent without them touching you, otherwise, it's a double touch, and you don't want to give your opponent points that way. Um, okay, I think I remember where I am now. Yeah. I don't want to go there. I want to just go up. I think I can go through this house, but there's a guy that's going to come ambush me. Come on, buddy. There he is. Um, Saber, I believe, is just the upper torso. I haven't fenced a lot of Saber. I know there's a guy in there that's going to shoot me. I don't care. I should probably go back and get that item. But Foil is just basically the chest area is a target. Um, and I like the strategy aspect of it, and, uh, the realistic aspect of it, too. Because, like, if you're dueling in real life, odds are you're going to want to go for, like, the heart or the upper torso area. So, already the targeting zone is pretty realistic. Um, and then there's all sorts of lunges involved. I didn't find this place last time. Neat. Or, at the very least, I didn't grab that item, because I think that might be the area I jumped down... So I guess I do have to go all the way around. Mm, excellent. Off to a good start already. Getting lost in an area I already explored. <laughs> um, but foil also has a mechanic called right of way uh, that makes sense from a dueling standpoint because it means that there are no double touches. Someone has priority, usually whoever started attacking first, unless they've been parried, in which case then the right of way goes to the other person. Um, and it makes it so that you it pretty much forces you to parry and or dodge the person's attack which if you're dueling like realistically you would be doing that anyways oh boy i attracted them both oh oh oh, oh this is all going wrong i should stop talking <laughs> ah i just realized i won't have any potions maybe i'll have to grind for potions oh i'm out of stamp out of stamp okay stop with your nonsense Thank you. Okay, cool. I got potions back. Haha. <laughs> um, wrong one. This button. There. I like it long better. I mean, it seems like I can do decent short, but... Oh, okay. I don't think I've seen him use that attack before. At the very least, not successfully. Stop it, stop it, stop it! There's a wall there! Did I die? I died, yes? Okay, I couldn't tell. The HP bar looked like I might have still had some. <sighs> I'm off to a good start. So, fencing. There's like a layer of um, strategy involved because parrying isn't the win all. You're like, oh, okay, I could just play defensively, wait for them to attack, parry, and then hit them, and then they're dead and I'm not dead. But that's not always the case because. No, I need to go the other way, right? Right. Um, that's not always the case, because there's a disengage. So you can just um, 
basically you can predict which direction they're going to parry. You can move your blade around their parry in a nice little concise, quick motion. Um, and then you still retain your right of way, unless you like backed off while doing it or something like that. Come on, buddy. Oh, I don't actually think I have to go through this house right now. Oh, is he not gonna come? Okay, yeah, he's gonna come. Alright. Mmm, boy. No, you're dead. Cool. Wait, did you drop something? I need potions. Yes, give me potion, 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 potion. Yes, potions! Aha! Thank you, game. Wheelchair bro. Die! Nah, no potions. Okay. So, you, uh... Ah, gosh, I'm getting so off track playing video game trying to talk about fencing strategies. There's like a whole bunch of complexities that goes into foil, and that's why I like it the best. Hopefully that makes sense. There, good enough. It's good enough summary. Oh, ooh, ooh. I thought he was going to be staggered. Come on, let me swing. Thank you. Oh, wait, that's right. I can hit his corpse. No, I can't. Okay, I guess I was mistaken that one other time when I thought I could hit his corpse to get back HP. This guy's got glowing eyes, so he's got my blue echoes. Not that I had many. And I've already fucked up. I thought I was out of range. Guess I wasn't. Oh boy. Alright, alright, alright. Do your little jam. See, uh, I think the big thing I like about foil is uh, the strategy involved in the baiting and whatnot. Oh, I didn't find this place before. Maybe I won't be doing Cleric Beast. Does it do anything? Okay, not operational. Alright, cool. How did I get to the Cleric Beasts again? <sighs> I'm so lost. I mean, I know this general area because I know I encountered those guys before, but... Oh boy, this this is where I came from. Yes, yes. That's the other end of the door. I'm so confused. <laughs> mm. I don't think I've been to this area. Three XP. Cause I don't remember all these doggies. Cool. Well, I found another area besides the Cleric Beast, but I want to go kill the Cleric Beast first. Or maybe I should be exploring the other area until I get enough souls to level up or something. I don't know. Okay, that's this area. I guess I'm approaching this area from, like, the opposite direction or something, and so it's got me all turned around and whatnot. And I think this leads up to the bridge, so I need to get to the other side of this. So... Let me see if I turn left, go through the house, and then back up the other side, maybe? Hopefully. No. I'm so confused. I think I need to get up and over there, but now this just leads back to this area. Why did I roll twice? Okay, well. That's clearly not the right way to go. I know there's another way back up to that, uh the bridge where the cleric beast is. I know I found another way back up there besides just having to go through all that bullshit with the mobs to get to the werewolves. I think I'll just skip to whenever I figure it out. Oh, oh, hey bud, hey bud. Good thing you missed. <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> this grew jump scares. All you need is regular enemy animations. <laughs> Note to future Derek Self, don't play horror games. You can't even handle Bloodborne. <laughs> oh, he's barking at the door. Okay, I was saying, what in the world is he doing? He's just sitting there. Yeah, I'm a hunter. No, I don't. There are bad guys everywhere. So, uh, I'll come back once I figure out a safe place. Ooh, this place looks, like, really nice. 
the glowy thing drawing my attention, but that just makes me think that there's a trap. Come on, man. This looks way too linear for there not to be a trap. Because that's what you do. You, you place them in like some kind of hallway or corridor that looks linear, and then you set a trap off to the side, and then they never see it. Well, here's a little thing to explore and drop down, but I'm not going to do that. Even though it's probably what I should... Oh. 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 Are you the same kind of enemy I saw next to the rats? I don't think so. I think you're new. It's been a night. Okay. Well, too bad. You're dead. You're dead, son. I am inadvertently grinding for blood vials so that I can take on the cleric beast. There we go. And that's the objective of this episode. Get blood vials. Because I probably shouldn't have used up all my blood vials while I was just kind of practicing during my first encounter. Because really, that's all I ended up doing was just practicing. Blurring his pattern a little bit. In which case, I should have just... Oh, mm, I thought I could reach him. Guess that was wrong. Oh, 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 oh some of the gun, some of the gun. Ah, use the blood vial. <laughs> Who's got the gun? Who's the smart ass that's shooting me? I get that. Yeah. Oh. I see you. Alright, bud. Bring it! Oh, I missed. <laughs> that's okay, you missed too. We can both be losers together. <laughs> Another guy. Come here, baby. Yes, I saw that item over there, but I want to get rid of this guy first, and I missed. Spear, bro. Bad spear, bro. Did you always have this much HP? I don't remember the spear bros down at that other area having this much HP. And I've upgraded my weapon, too, so I should be doing more damage. Hmm, this is unsettling. Are the enemies getting harder, or am I just remembering wrong? I think a good night's sleep would help that, but... Apparently not. Well, I guess it technically wasn't a good night's sleep. It was sleep in general, though, and that's that's good. Um, <laughs> in case you're wondering why I'm doing this to myself, <laughs> it's not because of you guys. I genuinely want to play Bloodborne. Like, I've been super excited to play this game for, like, the longest time, and I'm just like, I can't wait. I just, I need to play this. Maybe that's what was keeping me up. I don't know. Oh boy, guys with guns. Okay, I'm gonna go in here. I also saw Mr. Spear, bro. Yeah! Got two hits in on ya. Oh, oh, I thought he was gonna hit me with that attack, but it looks like I'm slightly faster. Ever so slightly faster. Your little friend, dodge your bullet. Stab you. Oh, okay. I need one. Okay, cool. Bullets. You just hide around this corner for a bit, get my bearings, there's an item over there, and I'm assuming I'm supposed to circle around and take out the other gun bro. I'm just gonna periodically run and roll and whatnot. Hopefully that lets me dodge the guy's bullets. Okay, there he is. Neat, I can see him now. You're dead! Ah. I really like this weapon. Have I mentioned that? I... I, 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 man, I'm really torn. I don't want to be one of those guys that just goes through the entire game with their starting weapon. Because that always irritates me. When I watch, um, let's plays of stuff like Bloodborne and Dark Souls and such like. But I'm really digging this axe. Like, <laughs> I mean, it, it's gonna have to be like a really, really awesome looking weapon. With like, good stats and everything to get me to not keep- oh, you, I didn't even know you were there. I think you might have been attacking me a couple times and I didn't even notice. <laughs> That's what the audio cues are good for. Did I mention I'm playing this without audio cues? My volume's on one so I don't get feedback in my mic. Yeah, I know. I'm really professional, guys. So sorry about yesterday's episode being really, really late and then it just being an apology. I, I needed to make that update video soon anyways, so uh, that is really important that you go watch that and vote or comment and whatever on that. It's not too late yet, okay? I still need your feedback. I had a teacher once who said, 
To be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is to be forgotten. It's not too late. Seriously. I need your help.